The Republic Day is celebrated to remember the historic moment when our nation became an independent republic country. As we all know that India got its independence on 15th August 1947 and the country didn't have its own constitution instead India was governed by the laws implemented by the British after many deliberations and amendments a committee headed by Dr B R Ambedkar submitted a draft of the Indian constitution which was adopted on 26 November 1949 and officially came into effect on 26 January 1950 On the same day Dr Rajendra Prasad also began his term as the first president of India and the constituent assembly became the parliament of India under provisions of the new constitution we the students of class 9 present before you two of the important constitutional rights of our country Arjun describes the event to his father in the police station. Yes sir. Okay sir. I'll do the needful. Sir, two college boys were fighting on the roof. I have brought them. Let them in. Come in, both of you. What's your name? Sir, Arjun. And yours? John. Sir, both of them were fighting and caused a lot of trouble for the public. They even damaged the public properties. Is she right? Sir, it was John, not me who started the fight. He took the wrong side of the road and damaged my headlight. And when I went to ask, he slapped me. Sir, it happened accidentally. Constable Sara, file a case against both of them for damaging public properties. Suddenly, a call to SS Mobile. Yes? Hello, uh, hi. Am I speaking to SA Paul Kuri? Who's speaking? Yes, this is MLA Koshi Powers. I came to know that my son John Powers is in your custody. I want you to release him as soon as possible, or else. Should I say it myself? No problem, sir. I'll do the needful. John, you may please go. But why, sir? He is MLA Koshi's son. My job will be in trouble, even yours. Okay, sir. Arjun, you may please pay the fine and bill. From the above incident, we see that those who have power and money can do anything. They even take law in their hands. No law can be against them. This is one of the greatest curses of our society. The poor are denied their rights. Right to equality is being violated here. All citizens are equal before the law. No problem, Arjun. Everything is all right. And Arjun, I am planning to conduct my next wedding. It is a very good proposal. Groom is working abroad. We can fix it by mid February, right? Shouldn't we ask Meenu about this? She have no say in this woman. I'm not ready for the wedding. I won't study and build my career. After all, I'm just 18, Appa. Your studies are no more, Meenu. I cannot afford you much for your higher studies. Woman, I just convince her. It is a very good proposal, Meena. Actually, why can't you understand? I want to be more educated, Amma. Meenakshi, you may please go from here. Meenakshi calls her friend and tells this incident. Is that so? I can't convince them. I tried a lot, but I couldn't convince them. Okay. Let me ask my mother about this. Let's see. You need to be worried. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Stella's mother is the Punjab girl. She decides to meet Meenakshi's parents. Oh, Sholi, ma'am, come in. Please be seated, Aunty. Where is your father, Meenakshi? I'll call him right now. Appa. Ha, President. What's the matter? I came to know that you're fixing Meenakshi's marriage. See, Shankar, don't you think it's too early? She's just 18 years old. Let she build her own career first, and then we can fix the marriage. She still has a long way to go, and you know, the legal age for a woman to get married is 21 years old. But Meenakshi is too young, and moreover, you are violating the educational rights of the child. If you are still forcing her into marriage, I shall move legally. Please understand, Shankar. I can understand. I will do it. Here, they follow educational and cultural rights. Although they violated it first, her parents understood the importance of these laws. In this video we saw the explanation and examples of two constitutional rights of our country 
but the Indian constitution guarantees six fundamental rights to Indian citizens as follows. The right to equality, right to freedom, right against exploitation, right to freedom of religion, cultural and educational rights, and the right to constitutional remedies. The citizens living in a democratic country enjoy the privilege to elect their leader to lead the country. Although we have seen a lot of economic improvements and success as a country, we still have many hurdles in our paths, such as poverty, unemployment, pollution and the last two years of COVID. It is our duty as citizens to face these challenges and come out stronger on the other side. So one thing we all can do is to promise each other that we will become a better version of ourselves so that we could contribute to solving all these problems and build our nation together. Happy Republic Day!